आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट वोल्टेज इन एनी लैप पावर वोल्टेज फ्रॉम लैपटॉप अडाप्टर एंड to start checking the multi uh, motherboard we have to keep the multimeter in diode mode this is the diode mode diode mode beep sound okay check the continuity Align the multimeter to zero zero zero. Okay. Now, if you see, this is a DC jack where the adapter will be connected. Okay. The DC jack center pin will be adapter voltage. The outer layer, the outer layer will be the ground pin. Example. See, the outer layer is connected to ground. The outer layer is connected to ground. Correct. The center pin is power supply. Now, let me put this drawing. How it works? Here you can see in DC jack there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Total six connections. But all the one, two, three, four, five connections are connected interrelated, but only one connection is separate. You can see this. Only one connection is separate. You can see one mark. One connection separate. This is a positive jack, and these are the negative connections of the jack. How to identify the ground pin? All five connections. The center pin is not connected, so this is positive and this is ground pin. Always while checking, keep the red probe at ground and start checking. And let me put the drawing. This is your DC jack. In DC jack, I have taken positive connection and ground connection. This is ground. And this is your positive connection. This is called your DC jack. Suppose the voltage from the adapter it is 19 volts. Because it is coming from the adapter, we call it as AD plus. And this is ground. Now let us check, because this is ground, you don't have any continuation. Because this is ground, you don't have any continuation. No continuation, because the whole ground, one layer will be connected to ground. Where is the continuation? The continuation is from the positive supply. Now let us see. This is the positive point and it is connected to one component. There is one line here. 
there is one line here also you can see on white black line and white line identification on the board identification on the component also let us see what component it is it is written as d1 and one more is r3 r3 d1 this is your r3 and this is your d1 d1 means it is diode okay and this is anode and this is cathode why cathode because there is one line that means in this diagram cathode is connected to power supply anode is connected to ground okay anode is connected to ground cathode is connected to power supply who is this power supply it is the supply from adapter this is called protection diode why it is a protection diode because anode is connected to ground cathode is connected to your positive supply if this diode is short the dc jack will show short if let us see whether the diode in this motherboard is okay or not how to check the diode is okay or not keep red probe at anode black probe at cathode you can see here you can see here red probe at anode black probe at cathode it is showing value 593 you can see 593 it is showing value now reverse the probe red probe at cathode black probe at anode no value that means this diode is okay because the positive point is connected to the cathode of the diode we have the continuation from the cathode that means we have continuation from cathode only now let us see where this cathode is connected this cathode is connected to one mosfet okay if you see the mosfet you can see one white line here this white line is the identification of this mosfet that means this three legs are source and fourth leg is gate and this is drain let me identify whether is an n channel or p channel first we'll check whether is a p channel black probe at source red probe at drain it is showing value black probe at source red probe at drain it is showing value reverse the probe no value now let me confirm source to gate and drain to gate no short that means this mosfet is okay because black probe at source and red probe at drain it is showing value that means is a p channel let me draw a p channel mosfet how it looks so this supply is connected to source from here it goes to the source of the p channel mosfet p channel mosfet and it should come out of the drain because this is a p channel mosfet anode is connected to drain and cathode is connected to source this is a p channel mosfet let us see the continuation where this voltage is going from drain this is going to 
one more MOSFET and this is a pin number one identification and you can see one dot also here we saw pin number one identification and one dot so this was the source and here this is one dot and this is pin number one identification that means this is a drain drain means all will be connected all four legs will be connected ok so let us do the drawing Here the gate voltage of the P channel to go to on condition it will be 0 to 5 volts on condition high voltage is equal to off condition. Let us identify whether this is a P channel or N channel MOSFET. Let me keep black probe at source always start with P channel identification if it is not a P channel it is an N channel. Keep black probe at source, red probe at drain. Black probe at source, red probe at drain, it is showing value. Reverse the probe, no value. Source to gate, it is showing value because it is connected to some capacitor but it is not shot and gate to drain no shot again I will repeat you black probe at source red probe at drain it is showing value reverse the probe no value that means this is a P channel if this is a P channel MOSFET if this is a P channel MOSFET anode is connected to drain and cathode is connected to source so this is a p channel mosfet okay and this 19 volts from here it will come here when it will come if the gate voltage gate source drain if the gate voltage goes to 0 to 5 volts it goes to on high it goes to off now let us see from the source where it is going from the source this voltage is going to one resistor if it is a blue color you can see it is in blue color this is a current limiting resistor that means this is my VCP path. This VCP path will be connected to so many sections. Section number 1. This will be connected to so many sections. Section number 1 you saw. Section number 2. Section number 3. Section number 4. Section number 5. This all are the VCP capacitors. It is going to different different sections. Let me put that one. This 19 volts, it is going to one current limiting register. Letter R. And the output of the current limiting register is your AD plus because it is coming from the adapter ok and there are few capac uh, VCP capacitors connected to different sections 
how it is connected one end is connected to the positive point and another end is ground okay now let me give the names for this mosfets let me give one two fault finding this mosfet is called this mosfet is called v in mosfet this mosfet is called adapter cut off mosfet and the whole path from charger coming to the vcp path we call it as a we have one more path which will be coming from battery adapter it is completed now we learn about the battery how it will come here in this laptop as i told you the bigger pin will be the ground you can see the bigger pin the bigger pin is ground that means the opposite pin is power supply so there is one two ground so you have two ground connections okay 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 7 connections out of 7 2 are ground let me put the drawing bigger leg will be always ground and there is one more extra ground connection the opposite pin is your battery positive connection this is your battery connector This is your BT plus. That means back from battery. This is data clock. Thermal. No connection. And these two are ground. From battery connection, let us see. If you connect a battery, how the voltage will pass from BT plus inside the laptop? See, one end is ground, opposite end is power supply. Again. one end is connected to ground two grounds opposite is power supply from power supply let us see where it is going it is going here what is the proof one is 
this must be a discharging MOSFET. Second, compulsory, it should be a P-channel MOSFET. Let us identify how it is a P-channel MOSFET. You can see one dot here and you can see pin number 1 identification. One dot and pin number 1 identification. Keep black probe at source, red probe at drain. It is showing value. Black probe at source, red probe at drain, it is showing value. That means this is a P-channel MOSFET, reverse the probe, above 1000, no value. That means this positive supply is connected to the drain. Let me put the drawing now. And as I told you, this is a P-channel MOSFET, that means the diode inside. Anode will be connected to drain, cathode will be connected to source. And this supply, source, and this is gate, source drain and it is p-channel now let us see the battery voltage example the battery voltage is 11 volts where it is coming this source of the discharging MOSFET always it is VCP as I told you source of discharging MOSFET and it should be a P channel source of discharging MOSFET is VCP already I got one VCP point that is a current limiting resistor CLR current limiting resistor so this must be connected to this current limiting resistor see here this is the source and it is connected to this current limiting resistor that means again this point it is coming here this is your main VCP path which is going inside the laptop we call this at path that means all the voltage voltages from here it will go different sections now we'll name this section as section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 section 5 section 6 ok because the voltage is coming from here that is BT plus that means this 11 volts is BT plus here also you will get BT plus and here we get BT plus now AD plus is also coming BT plus is coming so the total name of the path is AD BT plus it is one name another name is DC bat out another name is VCP another name is V in plus and this section is called B battery section okay